Hey guys, this is Utah Raptor 1987 here, and welcome back to another episode of The Extinction Files. In this episode, we will be discussing probably one of the strangest theropod dinosaurs, the Balar Bondock. So, without further ado, let us begin. Bolar was a theropod dinosaur that lived around 70 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period in what is now Romania. The first fossils of Bolar, which were only a few bones from its arms, were discovered in 1997 by Dan Grigorescu. Then in 2009, a partial skeleton was discovered by geologist and paleontologist Matthias Vermeer who then sent the fossils to Zoltan Siki, who's from the University of Bucharest. And then in 2010, the animal was finally given the name Balar Bondok, which means stocky dragon, because it was named after a dragon from Romanian folklore. Balar Bondok was about 5.9 to 8.2 feet in length and weighed around 33 pounds. What made Bilar so unique was that it had not one, but two sickle-shaped toe claws on each foot. It was originally thought that Bilar was a dromaeosaurid, since it had those sickle-shaped toe claws. However, scientists nowadays classify it as a basal avialin. And for those of you who don't know, Avialins are a clade that includes modern-day birds, as well as theropod dinosaurs that are more closely related to birds than dinonychosaurs. There has been some debate on whether Bilar was a carnivore or an herbivore, since we don't have any skull material from it. It was originally thought that Bilar was a carnivore, and would have used its double sickle claws to help kill its prey. However, some more recent studies suggest that Bilar was either an herbivore or an omnivore, and was not suited for hunting other animals, due to its stocky build and lack of a third finger. Instead of using its claws to kill other animals, Bilar would have used them to help support their weight, as well as for climbing and perching. Fossils of Bolar have been found in the Densush Chula Formation and the Sebesh Formation. These geological formations were part of what used to have been Hattig Island. Hattig Island was a subtropical island that existed during the late Cretaceous period and it eventually became what is now Romania. This island was filled with woodlands that had lots of lakes and rivers and received seasonal monsoons. What made Hattig Island so famous was that it was sometimes referred to as the Island of Dwarf Dinosaurs, where some of the island's inhabitants exhibit what is known as Island Syndrome, which is where the morphology, ecology, physiology, and behaviors of island-dwelling species are different from those of their continental counterparts. A few examples of island syndrome in Hattig Island include island gigantism in some of the pterosaurs, island dwarfism in the sauropod dinosaurs, and Bilar Bondok losing its ability to fly. Hattig Island was home to quite a few different prehistoric creatures. There were the amphibians, Alpinerpetin, Paralatonia, and Hadzagobotrachus. There was the squamate, Nidophius. There was the turtle, Calocibotion. There were the crocodiliforms, Allodaposuchus, Doretodon, and Sabersuchus. There were the dinosaurs, Magyarosaurus, Struthiosaurus, Telmatosaurus, and Zalmoxes. There were the pterosaurs, Hatsigopteryx, and Eurasdarko. And then there is the mammal, Hynina. So, in conclusion, Bolar was a strange yet fascinating dinosaur. It had two sickle-shaped toe claws on each foot. But it wasn't a raptor. It likely didn't hunt other dinosaurs. 
and it would have used its claws for climbing and perching on trees. But it was unable to fly, and it lived on an island ruled by miniature dinosaurs and giant pterosaurs. Well guys, that concludes this episode of The Extinction Files. So, what extinct animal should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments down below. But before we end the video, let's pick which creature we'll be discussing in the next episode. All right, Spinosaurus. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!